Here's my daytime sword fishing outfit. Like I said, Shimano 80 wide Tiagra filled with, uh, I believe I have 3,000 yards of 65 pound Power Pro on there. I like to use the depth hunter because it changes colors every 25 feet. So you get, uh, you have a very good idea of where you are in relation to how deep. Here's the terminal end of it. It's a little lights. I've never found color to make a difference, but they're water activated. So as soon as they get wet, it starts blinking. I just happen to have a blue and a green one on here, but any light, any color will work. You just need some kind of something flashing down there to get their attention. I have a little glow in the dark crimp protector, which once again is probably not necessary, but it just kind of, I don't think you can have too much light down there. It's got to be completely pitch black. Other than that, you just finish off with a swivel and it's what you connect your leader to. At the top of this leader, this is a 100 feet, 200 pound test. At the top, I've got wax loop to where I can crimp my clip onto my leader line and that wax loop will keep the lead from sliding up and down. And it's a real clip, real quick, easy clip. So when you get the fish up, you can just reach out and unclip it and take the weight off. Here's the weight we were using today. This one's four pounds. Uh, a lot of times the currents run a little bit and you actually have to use heavier. But this is the clip I was talking about. It's just a simple long line clip. It's real quick and easy. You clip it on your line. That's what the wax loops there to keep it from sliding up and down easily like it's doing right there. When you get the fish up, you can just grab it and clip it right off like that. But as you can see, those fish are aggressive down there. You can see these notches in this weight. That's all from billfish, bill, uh, from swordfish bills whacking that lead down there, thinking it's something to eat. So uh, when you do get them boat side, don't go jumping in the water with them. It's not a very good idea. I would uh, wait for all that, let them get on the boat, and then take your pictures. You don't need to be in the water with them. They're, they're, they're pretty aggressive fish.